Okay, for these snail calcium biscuits, you're going to need um, a cup, some sort of mould and some calcium powder. This calcium powder is 100% calcium, calcium carbonate. There's nothing else added to it. Um, make sure there's nothing added to it. Make sure it is just the calcium um, because I can't guarantee how the snails will react to other stuff, but they're fine with the calcium carbonate. Then I originally put three and a half heaped teaspoons into here um, and I did find I needed a fourth. So I'd say four and a half um, teaspoons for the size of mould that I've got. And just put that in a clean uh, glass. And to clean the glass, all I've done is rinsed it out with hot water. You can't use any soaps or anything. So just give the, make sure the glass is clean just with hot water before you start. Same with the spoon and the mould that I'm using as well. And then what you need to do is you need to mix this kind of like you would plaster of Paris when you're going to make um, something with plaster of Paris, like make a mould or something. So at first I put, even though I'd only put a little bit of water in, um, it was too much. So I did add about another tablespoon. So it's about four and a half tablespoon, a uh, teaspoon, sorry. And then give it a good mix. And I've used boiled water. Um, that has been left to cool for a little bit. Um, I find it mixes a bit better. And also because it's been boiled, um, I'm hoping that like obviously the chlorine out of the water has been boiled off. And although my snails have never had any problems with tap water, but just to be on the safe side, I boiled the water first. And if you, as you can see, it's not solid, but it's not runny. See, it hardly drips off the spoon. That's the consistency you want. And then what you need to do is spoon that into your moulds, like so. And these are some little school moulds that I've got. And for each, like I'm only doing half the mould. These are just some little moulds I got from um, Amazon, by the way. Um, so they're dead easy to get online. They're not very expensive. I think it's about, it's about seven quid for this mould. I've got one that I use for making resin schools, and then I've got this one. And what I'm doing here is it took about, two, it took two or three tea, ta uh, teaspoons to fill each skull in the mould. Um, and I wanted it so it's right at the top. So as you can see, each one's nice and full. Um, and that way I'm hoping that they will um, maintain the shape a little bit better. And because it's a little bit runnier than what I would normally do, I'm also hoping that it will show up the details. But I'll show you once these have set. Now, what you need to do is just make sure you spread the uh, calcium mix into all the nooks and crannies of the mould. And get it as full as you possibly can. Which is what I'm doing here. I'm just using the last little scrapings out my... Uh, my bowl at my cup and then what you want to do is tap the sides of the mold you need to get the air bubbles out if you don't do this you'll have little air bubbles in the finished product and then what you need to do is leave these somewhere to dry it could take 24 hours could take 48 hours leave them somewhere warm and I'll show you what to do next once they're set Okay, so once they're set, it's a case of popping them very gently out of the moulds. I did find they break easily, but I did leave mine for like 48 hours to dry off. I think maybe if I'd have left them for about 12 hours, so there was a tiny bit of moisture left, they might have been easier to get out the mould. Plus, I think if you stick with sort of a simply shaped mould, this is the only mould I'd got that I could put it in. Um, but if you had one where it was just like the little heart shapes or something, you know, something where it's just one solid shape, it would be fine. Um, and you need to apply even pressure to the whole area where the calcium carbonate's, carbonate's in the mould. And I find it does come out better. It's if you've applied pressure in a, one place more than the other, it tends to be harder and, and it tends to break the... Um, piece afterwards so as you can see I got the one out quite you know solidly um, all in one piece and the other one wasn't too bad um, so yeah even pressure all over the mould to get them out it doesn't matter if they do break a bit to be fair because um, the snails are going to eat them anyway 
Um, and I decided to make these ones, like I said, it's the only mould I'd got that I could use. Um, so yeah, that's how to make some calcium biscuits. And then all you need to do is pop them into the snail tag. Obviously, I would make them bigger um, if they hadn't got another source of calcium, but they do have cuttlefish. And uh, I'll update you at some point, let you know how it got on and whether they liked it or not. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.